Hi, my name is Ian Hazikostas. I'm the lead encounter designer on World of Warcraft. I'm here at the Battle.net World Championships in Shanghai, and looking forward to talking about WoW. So Ian, tell us what's upcoming for World of Warcraft in spend area. Okay, so in the very near future, we're going to be releasing the 5.1 patch to the live servers. Uh, and really, Mr. Pandaria is its an expansion, a story that's about exploration and about war. And for the past two months, we've really taken a lot of joy in seeing players explore the new land we've created. But there's these dark clouds of war that have been looming on the horizon the entire time. And the full armies of the Alliance and the Horde are about to make landfall on the southern coast of Pandaria, and all-out war between the Alliance and Horde is going to erupt. And, and what role does fan feedback play in both PvE and PvP aspects in World of Warcraft? Um, we pay very close attention to the feedback from our fans. I mean, there are millions of passionate players around the world who play our games and who are more than happy to tell us what they think is wrong with them or great about them, as the case may be. Um, so, I mean, obviously, ultimately, our decisions are guided by our design instincts as developers, by hard data that we gather from just looking at how, what's happening in the game. But ultimately, if our fans, you know, aren't having fun with something, they're not happy with something, we listen to that and we try to fix it. Now, what's great about World of Warcraft is the game is solely evolving. It just keeps evolving. What are some of the challenges when taking a game that's pretty old and keeping it fresh and new? Well, so I, mean, I think constantly, we always have new stories to tell. We have new places to explore, new places to take players. Um, and obviously on the technical side of things, every expansion brings massive updates to our engines and the graphical capability of the engines. And if you, you know, look at screenshots or videos of vanilla World of Warcraft from eight years ago to what you see today, it's basically massively, almost entirely different. So technically the same game that's been around for eight years, but we're always trying to push the envelope and keep updating to take advantage of new technology. And let's talk about a little bit of the range, the uh, raid challenge modes you guys added to Mr. Pandaria. Okay, so yeah, the challenge modes are a dungeon-specific feature added in Mr. Pandaria expansion, and they're effectively an all-new difficulty for five-player dungeons. Uh, they don't give power; they don't give like player power items, but they're there for prestige and bragging rights. Um, when you go into a challenge mode dungeon, your gear is normalized to a fixed power level, so you can't outgear this by bringing in a lot of raid gear. Uh, it's something that you, you can't queue for it randomly. It's designed for a group of friends or guildmates to go in and do a time trial through a harder version of our dungeons for permanent rankings on leaderboards. And you can earn bronze, silver, and gold medals that award as well as achievements, things like a title, a unique mount, and ultimately the grand prize of a custom set of armor that's specific to your class. And um, talk a little about what's going on here at BWC in Shanghai with the live rated streaming. Okay, so yeah, I mean, so at BWC, this is really our, our, the pinnacle of esports for Blizzard games, and co the culmination of the long series that we've had building up StarCraft and World of Warcraft Arena you know, com competitions. Um, we've also had a couple of really cool exhibition events over the course of the weekend. Yesterday, we had a, a dungeon challenge racing through three t challenge mode dungeons, uh, with the participants being the guild Stars and Supreme Quicksand, both top Chinese guilds. And this morning we had a race through Heroic Mogushan Vault's raid between those two same guilds.